In the previous lesson, we took a look at how we can write to a file, and here I have the file that I've created, my first file.txt, with two lines of content. If you're picking up the course right here on this lesson, just make sure you have a text file with content like this in the exact same folder as the file that we're going to be working on in this lesson, which is called append to a file.py. So as we talked about in the previous lesson, if I simply call the write method and I have the write mode uh, activated, I'm going to tell Python them to overwrite the contents of the file entirely. But what if we don't want to do that? What if we want to add content to a file without overwriting the existing content? In other words, I want to keep what the file already has and add on to the end of it. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to pass in another argument for the processing mode, the second argument to open, and it's going to be A for append. Just like append on a list means to add on to the end, append when it comes to a file means add on to the end. So once again, I can do with open, and here I pass in the name of my file, either as a string or as a variable representing that string. My file here is called myfirstfile.txt. My second argument is now not going to be R for read or W for write. It's going to be A for append, add on to the end. I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call it file object. And here, what I'm going to do is file object dot write. Notice it's the exact same method, but because I'm using the write method with a processing mode of append, it's now going to write after the existing content, not in place of it. So I have two lines in my existing file. I can write something like third line is the best line. All right, save this. Let's go ahead and execute this file, Python 3, and this one's called append to a file. We're going to run it, and now we can take a look at my file called my first file. And you can see third line is the best line has been added. In fact, it's been added uh, without even a line break because when we previously uh, edited this file, we did not add a line break uh, right here. So that's why I concatenated all the way uh, to the end there. We can uh, rerun it again. Actually, we can put a slash n right in front of here and that will force a an actual line break. So what I can do is run it again just to show you how this works. There we go. Let's open up my first file and there we can see finally third line is the best line. So notice again the method that we're calling write is the same. What alters how it works is this a argument. The second argument to the open function is the processing mode. By the way the rules from the write uh, apply to append as well. So if your file does not exist and you try appending to it, Python will create it for you the first time. Now with write, uh, it, when you create it the first time and you run the program again, Python will replace it entirely or rather replace the contents entirely. This time around, if the file does not exist and you're using the append mode, Python will create the file the first time around and then continue appending to it uh, every subsequent time that you run the Python file for that operation. All right, that's all there is to cover in this lesson, so I will see you in the next one.